Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm unboxing my January 2021 Witch's Moon Box. I finally got a new tripod. Yay! Ooh, this is really pretty. Ooh, it feels weird. Blessing without borders. In essence, we are living energy flowing through the ocean of human consciousness. Spiritual beings moving through cycles of life, birth, death, and rebirth. We are all interconnected and in communion with each other, no matter how much physical space appears to separate us. Feel the blessed presence of someone you love this moment in your heart. Namaste. So that's a pretty card. And then we have a sigil. Beautiful. We have in bulk correspondence. Cool. We have cutting cords. Very neat. So let me. Okay. Let's see what this month is the cutting of cords we'll come back to that i like to look at that last all right so we have our salt it's in bulk yum yum mm -hmm. i can see jasmine petals it smells very um like fruity or floral we got a bag muslim bag we got angelica root different types of bags spearmint Um, the curious Urucus? I'm not sure. I'll have to read it to you guys. It's ritual um, herbal tea. Cannot read the writing very well. This is Release, very nice. It smells just like the bath salt. I've got, it looks like a rose quartz maybe? Like a nice big hunk of rose quartz, I'm not sure. We shall see. Our incense is Harmony, and I love the bags and the labels because it helps me keep track. I have been very, very diligently <laughs> working through a pile of incense bundles from all of my um, boxes that had no labels or nothing. <laughs> and thankfully, I'm almost caught up. And it's been kind of nice because it's just like, what am I going to smell today? I have no idea. Let's sit down. So just two herbs this month which traditionally they bring three and then it looks like we have a white candle let me just take a look at it smells like beeswax and maybe a little bit of the jasmine Got a beautiful box here, nice and padded. I can't see what it is. Oh, it's a selenite atomy. It's pretty big. Maybe 10 inches. I think from my fingertip to my wrist is seven and a half. Very cool. All right, let's read about this box here. Through the journey of challenging times, overwhelming emotions, and traumatic experiences, we begin to create energetic and, and spiritual attachments that tend to linger as we work through every aspect of our practice and daily life. 
These attachments can be so deeply embedded for extended periods of time that they may seem irrelevant or simply part of our life experience. As we step into the return of the light half of the year, welcoming the sun, we work to shed these attachments and come to a sense of realization and new opportunity. Only in this space are we able to truly create vibrant and authentic experiences through our rituals and practices. We have been working so diligently on this very sacred collection so that you may walk confidently towards this beautiful time of transformation and growth. Hand-carved selenite athame or ritual knife. Um, you will find within stories and testimonials of old that cord cutting is very much a part of the common practice found throughout every style and sect of witchcraft and ritual. Commonly associated with breaking the bond between a physical person whom you share harmful attachments with, these rituals carry within them the true essence of personal power and favorable insulation. In this collection, we not only focus on this very specific attachment, but of the attachments that tend to strangle and suffocate our ability to create, conduct, and proceed. These cords or attachments can be found connected with almost every aspect or of experience or thought process you have had throughout your journey, with some even dating back before you can even remember, lingering beyond your memory on the, er on the earthly plane. The practice of cutting cords not only releases you from these draining and debilitating energies, but brings awareness to cords that you may have otherwise not recognized as harmful or even apparent. It is very important for you to foster your rituals in a way that is bespoke to your personal preference and style. Although there are many wonderful references and instructions that can be found from many wise and wonderful teachers, it is up to you to truly find meaning and truth in the rituals that you perform. It goes on a bit. Um, cutting cords, Book of Shadows. That was the, the big one. And then we have um, the Cutting of Cords Sigil. And then we have the Hand Rolled Newfound Intention Spell Candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of providing you with the energies of newly, newly, revital, newly realized intentions. As a white candle, you are able to program your intentions as you wish, bringing customizable energy to your ritual. Writing these intentions down beforehand can be helpful and prove to bring further manifestation into direct reality. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you in your altar. Release Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of protecting you from obtaining further attachments as you walk upon your path each day. While you work to create the beauty that surrounds you on this journey, it is important that you are not held back by other associations and judgment. So let's see. Enchanted this magical oil with lavender, juniper, neroli, rosemary, and sandalwood, and have included lavender, peppermint, and spearmint leaf as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumarian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. They have also included a special mixture of our clearing magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Um, spearmint herb, and helica root, vacuitas, vacuitas. Um, this refreshing and light herbal tea has been included within this collection so that you may uplift and bring resolution to your spirit. Also known as freedom tea, this specific blend has been mixed with the intention of keeping you mentally sharp and spiritually aware. Uh, it has lemongrass, lemon verbena, lemon balm, peppermint, and spearmint. Rough uh, natural rose quartz. Harmony incense sticks. In bulk celebratory sacred salt. At time of celebration, in bulk uh, represents the essence of renewal through the strength and the return of the bright and burning sun, blessing us upon the return of spring. During this time, we embrace the potential of upcoming abundance and blessings as we work to gain and absorb new ideas, new creations, and new life. We have created this specific blend to foster these energies so that you may set the tone for celebrations during the beginning of February. We wish for overflowing blessings and bounty to be upon you and your family during the coming of months. Um, so this one has jasmine and violet, as well as elderflower and jasmine herbs. Um, jasmine and violet oils, elderflower and jasmine herbs. It also has Invoke Celebration Magical Oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. There's the Invoke Book of Shadows artwork. Um, the personalized oracle reading from the um, Namaste Blessings and Divination Cards deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. And parchment paper. So, very cool. Very, very cool. Of course, here's the parchment paper. 
Well, very interesting. I very much like that. I'm really excited about these. I hope I can collect all eight this time because I have the big ones from a couple years ago, but I only have um, Beltane, Midsummer, Llamas, and Maybon. So I only have basically half the year. So I am hoping that I will get eight of these. That would be really, really cool. Um, all right, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want to get this box, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm a very long time, I think this is going on three years, subscriber of The Witch's Moon. And I love them very much. Um, all of their products are very good. Uh, so definitely check them out. Have a good day.